What's up guys, Invisible Jiu Jitsu, David Morsegal here again, back with Rukash. This is what, and this is why, we're going to do the New School Foot Lock. Three reasons. Reason number one, I have the New School Foot Lock. Because I am not wrapping this leg all around his leg, I am able to extend much more to keep him further away from me. So I have a very, very straight leg here, which is what we want for a straight foot lock, okay? When I have this wrap and this shin is tucked away, automatically I become much closer to him and I lose some of my foot position. It can be difficult to gain enough distance while still maintaining a good press here. So if we're short, if we're, if we're not so long in the legs or if we're fighting someone with super long legs, the new school position, allows us to keep the leg straight, find the very end of the foot while still maintaining a good hip pressure here. Okay, that's my straight foot lock. Reason number two, why we like the straight foot lock, the new school version. If I have the old school version and he's holding my arms or he's holding my legs and he's really, really defending the foot lock very well. And I want to then stand back up. Let's say I jump to this while passing God. I want to stand back up now it's very difficult for me to get my support leg behind me because what I want to do is bring this leg back behind me but his leg and his bum is in the way okay whereas if I have the new school foot lock even if he's holding my arms or whatever it's very easy for me to bring my support leg up and a lot of the times you'll even start hitting a pass straight away okay so by having my support leg the leg that I want to stand on for a technical stand on, this side of his body, my side of his body, I don't have to get past him. I don't have to go around him. He's, there's nothing for me to get in the way. So, new school foot lock. One, two, here. This is the leg that I want to get behind me. I just put my hand on the ground up, and I can go back into my foot lock, I can slide off, I can slide back. And then here, we can start passing guard again, okay? Reason number three that I like the new school foot lock. As long as I fall in this direction, there is no way I can be called for reaping under IBJJF rules. Any rules, set of rules, competition rules that disallows reaping, this cannot be reaping. Because reaping is only pressure from the outside in. And there is nothing to do it here. The only time that I could ever get called reaping is if I decided I want to fall on this side for some reason. Which is weird. I would never do it. Because I'm not only going to put my foot in danger of the esteem lock, I don't have good control over his foot. Okay? I'm only ever going to fall to this side with this foot lock. Whether this is on this side or whether this is on this side. Okay, this is my control position and it is physically impossible to be caught for reaping because remember 50-50 position or inside out pressure is allowed under IBJJF rules for some reason. The most serious injuries I've seen from reaping have been from the 50-50 when people decide I'm going to stand up and they pop their own knee. Okay, so the three reasons I like the new school foot lock because it allows us to really straighten their leg to get the best leverage for the footlock. It allows us to disengage. Number two, by being able to stand up, by getting that leg right behind us, we can stand back up and then we can enter back into our passing game, which sometimes can be difficult from the old school footlock. And number three, safe IBJF rules. Okay, it's one of the reasons that this position came about was IBJF rules for reaping made <coughs> classic footlock a little bit ineffective. Okay, thanks for watching guys. Hopefully this illuminated some, uh, some details for you. If you like the video, like the video. If you like Wukash's sexy, colorful, Tatami Rashgard, like the video and we'll see you again for the next one.